हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू देसी चले विदेश आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल इन टूडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट माई ट्रेवल एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम इंडिया टू कैनेडा एज डायरेक्ट फ्लाइट कॉस्ट फ्रॉम इंडिया टू कैनेडा इज रियली गेटिंग हाई मेनी पीपल आर लुकिंग इन टू इन डायरेक्ट रूट ऑप्शन आई वॉज आज बाई मेनी पीपल हाउ वॉज माई ओवरऑल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ ट्रेवलिंग बाय एन इन डायरेक्ट रूट लाइक वॉज इट हेक्टिक हाउ वॉज माई इमिग्रेशन एक्सपीरियंस इन ऑल द एयरपोर्ट थिंग्स लाइक दैट सो आई एम गोइंग टू टेल एवरी थिंग इन डिटेल्स इफ यू आर सम वन हु इज planning your travel very soon then i think this video might be very helpful for you so if you are new in this channel then please hit the subscribe button because uh, it will really encourage me to uh, upload more content about my experience in canada as a new immigrant uh, so to start with my flight from uh, india was on 25th of october i was traveling via dubai route though the direct flight from delhi to uh, canada was already operational that time but the price was really high when i was looking to book a flight from bangalore to canada it was above 2 lakhs uh, so i thought uh, it was not at all a feasible option for me instead i booked a flight from bangalore to toronto with a 48 hours of stopover at dubai which just costed me around 52000 which is way cheaper than 2 lakhs of course so i had a friend in dubai so i did not have to book any accommodation in dubai for those two days i utilized this time to meet her as we haven't met for a while but even if i had to book a hotel it would have still costed me around 10 to 12000 more which is still way cheaper than 2 lakhs but of course the price varies from time to time uh, when i booked that time the price was less but uh, it doesn't mean that all the time the price will be same and even if uh, you are not planning from dubai route if there is some alternative uh, route as well which is cheaper uh, price might vary and also the guidelines might change since i have traveled from dubai i am just sharing the information about dubai route so if anyone is planning to travel via dubai uh, this will be helpful to them uh, so the biggest problem i had to face actually was the covid test uh, there were four covid tests that i had to do i had to the rule of course changes time to time but uh, when i booked the flight the guideline was uh, like i had to go through a test 48 hours before flying from uh, bangalore uh so that was an rt pcr test also at the bangalore airport i had to uh, go through another antigen test which can be done only 6 uh, hours before the flight departure at a counter at the bangalore airport where uh, you can go and do the testing the result usually uh, comes within 45 minutes up to 3 hours maximum once you get the test result then only emirates allow you to check in otherwise they won't allow that was the second covid test uh, and third covid test was done at the um, dubai airport which was uh, free of cost and it was also an antigen uh, test and uh, they did not stop me uh, for the result or anything like that i just uh, left the airport and after about an hour or so i got the test result in my mobile number so that's it that was not uh, much problematic uh, but the fourth covid test has to be again the rt pcr test uh, which uh, they will again check for uh, traveling from dubai to toronto i have done the fourth covid test from astra clinic in dubai if you are doing the test about 24 hours before they will will charge about 150 dirham uh if you have a shorter layover then you can go with some alternate option uh, where you can get your test result within either 12 hours or even 6 hours so i went with with the 12 hours option because uh, my flight from dubai was on 27th of october but i went for the testing on 26th so i thought there was not 24 hours of lay from the flight departure time It costed me about 200 dirham uh but i got the result within about 3 to 4 hours so if you have about 6 hours of time or 12 hours of time uh then you can easily go for those options and you will uh, get the result very soon for me luckily all the tests were negative that was a big plus uh but uh, that is one drawback of traveling via indirect route you have to take that risk because one of the report somehow if it comes positive then of course you are stuck there 
uh, otherwise there were no such problem so for me i just kept my fingers crossed because um, of course it was the cost wise difference was huge so i thought of taking that risk as i was vaccinated and i already tested positive to covid about six months before to my travel there is there is one more uh, option i believe for the people who have tested covid positive within 180 days um, they might even skip the test but uh, for me it crossed over uh, 180 days so i had to go through all the tests i had a little bit of issue with my luggage because i was traveling with a lot of luggage and i was traveling all alone uh, so i had to pay uh, twice for my extra luggage cost so uh, this rule i'm not sure about all other airlines but uh, for emirates they had this rule of uh, uh, one luggage instead of 23 kg you can make it 32 kg just by paying 6000 extra uh, so which is still better than uh, paying about uh, 10 12000 extra I, I have heard people paying more than that so i think it's it's still a better option i had about 6 kg of 5 5 to 6 kg of extra luggage and i just had to uh, pay uh, those additional differences then i was able to bring the luggage without much issue so about the immigration experience many people have been asking me how uh, was your overall experience in all the airports did they ask so many questions uh, did they stop you anywhere uh, uh, things like that but uh, to be honest there was not much issue uh, everywhere they just check the normal paper if you have your visa if you have your passport stamped if you have a work permit at the port of entry later uh, in bangalore airport they asked little bit of question about uh, like why i am going to canada back and things like that so i i just told them that okay my husband is a student and i'm going on a work permit so they asked if i have a job so i did not have one i just told them there is nothing to be scared of it's it's very gen generic question so you can easily answer them in Dubai airport the immigration was really smooth they did not ask a single question and the immigration was done very fast uh, so even after coming out of immigration I felt was the immigration already done or I have to do I have to go through something else but the immigration was very fast and very smooth so there was no issues at all at Dubai airport uh, so now the main point uh, how was the experience at the canada airport i heard from many people that uh, at immigration they ask a lot of questions uh, uh, even uh, when my husband came as a student uh, he was asked many questions uh, but when i came uh, uh, there was no questions at all i simply went to the immigration department where uh, they asked me uh, are you single or married uh, is your husband is a student so uh, they asked how long his study is and how long you will be staying so I just answered them that they just let me know that your work permit is um, there till this date so after that either you have to extend it or you have to leave the country so I said yeah I understand that's that's it there is nothing else other than that they just did all other formalities like taking pictures and fingerprints stuff like that then they just let me go and uh, there was a self check-in I guess where uh, you have to declare if you have any um, prohibited item and things like that so uh, that was also kind of smooth there was no one actually asking us any question it was like you have to just self declare everything you you brought in if right now the rules have uh, changed little bit because of the Omicron variant um, uh, they have some they have introduced some new rules so probably after coming to Canada you have to go through a um, test RT-PCR test and uh, once you have the RT-PCR test result then only you can go to any other destination you want to until you get your test result I believe you have to quarantine yourself or whenever you are planning your travel you read the clear guidelines and you plan your travel accordingly to avoid any hassle after arriving here so if you are traveling via an indirect route it's very much important to uh, remember that you might need a visa for that particular country where you are having a stopover or layover i just heard this story from one of my friend where one person went to the airport and after arriving the airport only uh, he got to know that he needs a transit visa for dubai so 
um, he was not having that visa handy so he had to go back he did not get any refund so everything was total hassle so as soon as you book a flight through any of the airlines just check the visa requirements if necessary you just talk to the airlines helpline and check with them in case of dubai i got a 96 hours of transit visa which costed me about 3000 rupees my layover was uh, 48 hours i guess for dubai there is 24 hours 48 hours and 96 hours three option there was nothing for 72 hours so i had the visa handy with me so there was no issues but if you are not having a visa then of course they will send you back without the visa they will not let you enter to the country so make sure you see the guidelines as well as the visa requirements before you book your ticket make a call to the customer care and just ask them whatever query you have so that way you can really avoid any hassle during your travel so that was all about my travel experience uh, via dubai route if you experience something differently then please uh, write it in, in the comment section so that uh, uh, the other viewers uh, will also be benefited from that uh, so that's all for today uh, in my next video i am going to really share something uh, interesting that's about my job hunting experience in canada so as, as i am in canada for more than a month i have uh, experienced a lot of things i'm sure as a new immigrant you might uh, face a lot of issues and you might have a lot of queries so if you want to know how i am coping up with my new life in canada then please stay connected please uh, subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends thank you bye bye